my last 11 hours, I got time to reflect, got time to think, and I wanted to share something with everyone today. Um, so I left at seven in the morning because I have a seven o'clock shuttle to take and it's a 12 hour whole thing. Um, last night before I went to bed, my husband said to me, do you want to just quickly look at the map and review your journey for tomorrow? And I said, no, I've done this journey like so many times. I know it's a 10 hour drive, 800 kilometers one way and further 200. So that's a thousand, um, thousand kilometer journey, 10 hours drive, one hour break. That's 11 hours reporting immigration, one hour, 12 hours I need. Seven o'clock is my train, seven in the morning, I'll leave. So 7 p.m. train. He's like, are you sure you don't want to just look at the map? I was like, no, I've done this so many times. It's 12 hours. He said, but yeah, I'm sure you don't remember the road. Don't you want to just review um, your pit stops and what cities or at least what countries you're crossing? And I said, no, it's okay. That's information overload. I don't need to know all that. I All I need to know is my destination, which I know. I'll just put it in my GPS and I'll totally follow the GPS. That, that's it. He said, don't you feel uncomfortable having to rely on your GPS 100%? And I said, no, I don't want information overload. Let me just go to bed. Tomorrow, 7 a.m., I'm off. And that's exactly what I did. I left home at 7 a.m., um, 200 kilometers into my journey. Um, I came to a fork where, you know, I had to, my GPS said go straight, but there was a road closure because there was plant engineering works going on. And I did not know what to do. So I, uh, there were instructions written on two diversions left. You know, if you want to go Nancy, uh, Luxembourg or Metz, go left, um, Sendai, whatever, go right. And I did not know where I wanted to go. I just randomly picked a direction, went there. My GPS rerouted me after 35 minutes, brought me back to the same the same junction. I was like, oh my God, no. So then I took the other right. And 25 minutes later, I was back at the same junction and I was just freaking out. My phone was in the boot of the car, so I couldn't even access Google Maps or Apple Maps, which gives live updates. Um, somehow it was connected at least to the Bluetooth of the car. So I managed to call my husband and I said, look, I'm stuck. Please help me. He said, okay, you need to go Nancy, Metz, and Luxembourg. See, this is what uh, this is why I told you should review your map so you would have known which direction to take. I was like, all right, don't lecture me. And I, I hung up on him. I took the right direction. I followed road signs for Luxembourg, and then I was back on track. My GPS rerouted me, and I was fine. Um, anyway, long story short, 11 hours later, I'm here. Um, I missed that one hour in the rerouting, so one hour, which would have been my break in driving 10 hours. I had to miss my break, so I had to drive 11 hours nonstop, and I got here. Uh, what I learned from this 11 hours of driving is, first, just knowing your destination is not enough. My husband, unfortunately, was right. We need to have a plan and know your milestones so you can retrace and trace your progress as well. So knowing destination is not enough, you need to have a plan. And then review your plan, because even if you've done this a million times or somebody else has done it and you can rely on them and replicate that, still, your unique circumstances change all the time. So reviewing your plans is helpful. Had I reviewed the map last night, I would have known there were plan closures on the way and I could have taken, accounted for that and left an hour earlier. Thirdly, have a contingency plan. Stupidly, my phone was in the boot of my car. I could not access my maps. Um, so at least have a contingency plan. And fourth, trust and listen to your mentor. When my husband said to me, firstly, review your plan, I should have listened to him. And I did not. But then I, when I came back to my senses, I called him and I asked him for help without feeling kind of embarrassed about it. So four lessons today. Just destination, not enough. Have a plan. Review your plan regularly and have a contingency plan as well in spite of having a good plan and fourthly rely on your mentor. So thank you guys, thank you so much. I have, I'm so knackered and I've been kind of missing book clubs. So I just wanted to come back, thank you. <laughs> Amazing Nikita, <laughs> please drive safe and take some rest. <laughs> yeah, oh, I have three more hours to do uh, of driving. So I'm just waiting to board the shuttle and then three more hours going, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs>